you're in a locker room and you hear a quarterback that just gets drafted by your team and he's pissed oh, because others like passed that. on him. You do like that. Oh, I like it. You're not, I, that you're was me. Saying, uh, that, was, that was me. In fact, what? in 96, yeah. I was 14. Mm -hmm. And the Oilers were, were supposed to pick me at number nine. Mm -hmm. Two quarterbacks, two running backs went ahead of me. Tim Biaka Batuka. Okay. And, <laughs> and Lawrence Phillips. Right. And... They traded out of that slot to go down, I think, to maybe 20, 22. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, wow, this is going to get be a long night. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all the cameras come up to me and it's trying to see my reaction. You were in the green to, room? I was in the green room in New York. Okay. And, it, you know, I'm sitting there trying to smile. And, uh, and inside I'm just like, oh, my gosh, this is going to be an awful day. Seething that a Michigan man was taken before you. No question. And how he and he ended my uh, undefeated season yes, and ran for 300 yards against him. I, I remember what Jimmy <laughs> Bianca Batuka did. Yeah. I'm waiting for another Bianca Batuka moment. Uh, it's coming in, in the next century or so. Okay, we'll thank you but, for that, Eddie. <laughs> not, not, not anytime soon. But uh, uh, they wound up coming back up to 14, got me a 14, and I was really happy. But I told my agent when I got off the stage after I shook t Tag Lebu's hand, I said, mm -hmm. listen, whatever you do, just get me in camp on time and I'll take care of the rest. And that led to me you know, having a rookie of the year season, a few Pro Bowl seasons in a row. So this is a good thing for Dwayne Haskins because he felt slighted from the Heisman mm -hmm. and didn't get enough love there. I thought he should have got more votes as a Heisman Trophy Kid candidate. Had 50 touchdowns. Come on, man. Come on. Against elite competition. Um, and now with the draft, and with, I don't know what the Giants were thinking, but I thought he was definitely going to be a New York Giant. But – that's what you have to have. He's going to come in with a chip on. He says it. I'm coming in with a chip on the shoulder, on my, on my shoulder. I'm pretty sure he's like, listen, just sign me today. It doesn't matter. And now he's going to face the team twice a year. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. But there's no one. Be there's no one in the locker room that's thinking right now. Hey, you know, he should be excited to be here and not have a chip on his shoulder to be. No, nah, you want that. I mean, okay. for Washington, hey, look, you want a quarterback you with sure a chip do. on your shoulder. Right. You know, from the area too, his family's got to be ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, the Washington's got to be ecstatic too. We had him on the show last week, and I, I, he's got a lot on the ball. He's a sharp, sharp kid. Sharp kid. And he would not say the word Michigan. <laughs> he would not say the word. It was it's funny. North, he, yeah. he said that, and I, I pointed that out to him twice. He said that twice. right, and I'm like, what if the Lions take you? And he says, I will say that I play in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good That's kid. what he said. Yeah, I know. Like, so he had. It, he was funny, you know, uh -huh. he was engaging. Yes. He kind of like you need to have somebody who's who can, you know, play around and yeah. understand that, you and know, I, it's yeah, fun yeah. and there's a certain aspect to being a face front figure. Yeah, he, I, 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 think I he, liked he him a lot. Off, I he really gets did. all fronts. And that's what's shocking to me is that he didn't have any red flags, in my right. opinion, off the field. I mean, we know his body of work on the field. So I know his family, I know him personally. Uh, he's matured into a fine young man. And what a way for his, and, and I will bring this up, and then we'll drop it. Um, the way that he came in in the big house, oh, JT yeah. Barrett, who probably got every snap under the planet, right? Yes. Because he is the all-time, he's, he's a goat at Ohio State, mm -hmm. goes down in the big house. And I told him this when he was on the phone. And I'm like, I thought that game was a wrap because yes, here comes did. the backup. And that kid was like, Oh, man, yeah. where did that throw come from? You're oh, probably hoping that you man. didn't hurt JT. So right. for which, <laughs> right, so which, 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 what better way to prove you're, you can come off the bench, you can do this through natural ability mm -hmm. in whatever preparations that you have. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.